Was that a snake? Yep. Broham edition service goat. She fancy. Rat's nest. 19 years. Oh yeah. It's not open. Quad pops on it. You plug that pop right there. 440, son. Rock and whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> got one mate how do they get in there oh yeah Bam. big goat cam on completely stuck don't be scared she's a brick she's eating the Thank insulation <laughs> little black every time she got low you dip sick i see smoke beauty gonna start she's a jewel ain't she you want a mug girl <laughs> this looks like crap <laughs> into the unknown ain't no way Smaller cars are my tastings. She ride it off her. Ain't no way. Crazy, Crazy, isn't it? Bugs and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. That's the paperwork. Bro ham. There's a snake. Oh. I'll catch you on the flip side. Cling, cling, cling. This ought to fix it. Give her a little love, Pat. Burning rat pee. Speed coma. Baby butt. Franklin's. Where's the hammer? Oh my goodness. What in darnation? Oh no. Big booty Judy. Cracking the seal. This time. Load up. So it's fooled. That's not good. She good. She a hog leg. Ah. Oh shit. <laughs> bendy bendy job. You little booger. Tartar sauce. We'll drive it in the pond. Like Ace see. Ventura. Where did y'all go to school? <laughs> she be fine. Mind blown. Go <laughs> pig. <laughs> and stay out of the Woolworth. You ready to go service goat? Huh? Let's go get one running. Come on. Tuck it in. We're about to go get a car running. That's our plan today. This thing's a luxury car. The likes of which we haven't seen since the Lincoln Continental. This is a 77 Chrysler New Yorker. Mike the neighbor, he has some family that had this car. I had seen it from the road and I asked about it and we end up making a deal on this thing. So we're gonna try to go get this car running and drive it home, which we have never done on the channel yet. We've never done that. This thing's got a 440 hog leg in it, big yeah. block. You know, that big boy stuff. So let's go check it out. Rocky the service goes with us. He's gonna help us clean out because this thing's been parked in the weeds for quite a while. We gotta cut down some trees with a chainsaw and everything. He's such a good boy. He likes riding the car. He'll, he'll load right up, I'll tell you that. Did you just see what was dead in the road? Was that a snake? Yep. Oh no, that's not a good start to this. <laughs> <laughs> not a good start at all. Kids, look what beauty I have bought up here. Back in the woods, hidden back here. Oh my. Look at that. Oh man, this thing. She's beautiful. Luxury, that's what you're looking at, kids. The likes of which they don't make anymore. Back when they made land yachts. Rolling living rooms. Wow. Let's go check it out, Rocky. Fender skirts, luxury hubcaps on this thing. As my buddy Scott would say over at Heritage Gate Farms, Broham edition, Bro okay? Ham. Best of the best. Vinyl top, of course. Look at the ants in there. Ew, hey ants. Yeah, there's ants all over it. <laughs> we can't even get the driver's door open. Come here, Rocky, you clean this out for me. Okay, he's been working out over here. Uh, we're gonna have to cut this trigger right here down just to even get it open i love that quarter panel it really has some good lines to it don't it what they tell us this was lichen is that what that is yeah makes some little lines there you go see you're finally earning your keep around here service goat let's get inside this thing i don't know i don't even you know how many inside. miles it has on it we don't know how long it's been parked let's find out some things does it have a license plate on it no I man no oh we got a drive out tag oh from the auto mart maybe there's some paperwork inside the car i hope we have a trunk key that'd be nice open it up ralphie there better not be a snake -E. hey we got keys oh there's a, a wasper oh ooh, ooh. you're scared of them is there like a whole wasper village in here is that got soft Ew. corinthian leather is that what that is available even in soft corinthian leather oh she fancy man if only we had ricardo montalban here right Oh, it's a hard top, guys. Look. Oh, you, that's awesome. You roll the windows down. There's no top. Hey, we're going to be crazy and been style on this thing. Very moldy smell. Really water damaged smell. <laughs> Look at the door handles. Look how they work. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Or don't work. Of course, it has power, everything. But is that rat turds on the seat? Uh, I think so. Look at the grab handles in the back, guys. That's for when Mama's driving. It's got the console. The carpet's a little green. Not gonna lie. Yeah, 
it's a little green. She's smelly. I'm a little bit worried about getting in here. It's got 106,000 miles. Where is the glove box? Is this the glove box? Oh, rat's nest. Maybe it'll show us when it was last registered. We got some auto parts here. Resistor. Oh, good. We got wiring issues. Good. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? It's wet right now, currently. Oh, it's probably rat right pee. One can only hope. Hey, 106,000, that's just getting broke in. We got a map of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. That's a good sign. So they went places in it. Is there no registration? It's got receipts, that'll tell us something. Power brake booster, core return in 2004. So what is that, 19 years? Yeah. So maybe it's been parked 19 years. We got another receipt for a power brake booster in 03. A muffler got put on it in 1994. So, ooh, got bugs on me, okay. Oh yeah. Can't make it up, can you? Here's a receipt from the Walmart from 96. Looks like a guy named Willie owned it, which I approve of that. It's gotta be good if Willie owned it. Yeah, 1995, he got some new casings on it. They were $64 a piece. Man, that's been a long time ago. In a minute. I remember when Pet Boys had the four for $99. I went and bought some. That was a long time ago. 2003, it got a flat repaired. So, looks like 2004 might be the last time this girl was on the road. So, we're talking 19 years ago. Quite a while. I'm going to say it's going to need more than a battery put on it. Does it have a battery? We need to find that out. Oh, wow. We? Yeah. That's probably good to know. Nice to have them core returns. Let's see what's in this enormous trunk. <laughs> It looks like it opens from right there. Well, open up. Open, Rocky. He's worried about it. Oh, he's coming this way. I'm not getting anything out of that. We may have to put a little PB blaster or something on that, guys. It's not opening. Maybe it's just stuck. Oh, now I ain't gonna help with him on it. Uh, All right, well, let's go to the other end. Is this thing got quad pops on it, I'll Ralphie? I'll get her. Wow, incredible. You plugged up right well, there. Well, maybe it's a trace. Maybe not a quad trail on this one. I really like the tail lights in this thing. It's fancy. It is, it's your style for sure. Look how solid that grill is. I drove a 1980 Butte Park Avenue and it had these same things. It would be indicators to tell you if your blinker was on or your headlight was working or not. Bugs all over, huh? Yeah. Wawa likes bugs. Mm. Oh yeah. Guys, you're not gonna believe what we got in the mail today. Oh, L4. Man, 110 pounds. Can you believe that, Ralphie? No. If you watch our fan mail episodes on the second channel, you know we've got some tools sent to us by Vivor, just like this chair here and our air jack we use all the time. They have sent us an anvil. I've never owned an anvil. I have beat a bunch on my vise over there. I've always been worried I'm gonna break my vise as much as we use it like an anvil. Instead of being like a cast iron vise, this is a cast steel anvil. So the advantage of being cast steel is it's made to be beat on. Whereas like a vise being cast iron is not really designed to be beat on really hard. You know I've got an auto body background, so we're really hoping to use this thing to maybe make some patch panels and stuff like that. This one here is 110 pounds, but they make all the way up to 132 pound ones. Could you imagine trying to pick that thing up? And they got them all the way down to 22 pound ones. I looked at the price of the used ones today on Facebook Marketplace, and cheapest ones I'm finding are like 600 bucks. All the way up to like $1,000 for a used anvil. And this guy right here is about 200 bucks brand new. I and mean, why buy a used one for 600 to 1,000 bucks when you can buy a new one for 200? Show them how to use it, Ralphie. I'm already nervous. With all these cars we've got around here that are rusted out, having something like this with shaped metal, it's gonna be really nice, making patch panels. I think you got it now. Yeah, look at that, all kinds of uses for it. We probably got about 20 rusted out cars out there that something like this will work really nice for. Also got holes in here. You can put stuff in it, bend it, whatever you wanna do. A good blacksmith could probably show me a lot of uses for this that I don't even know. I really don't think you can beat it for the price. They got all kinds of stuff though. Power tools, lawn equipment. Even got ultrasonic cleaners, Ralph. Can you believe it? <laughs> they pretty much sell everything you need for a shop. So go check out the link in the description to get your own Vivor Steel Blacksmith Anvil. And if you use code VVSALE5, you're going to get 5% off your order. How cool is that? Thank you very much for Vivor for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. 440, son. 
Look at that. Biggest Look thing they put that in them. The I alternator? Know, the alternator, yeah. Look, double belts too. You weren't gonna get stranded in this. Big AC compressor. You run your whole shop off that. Something's no battery been, at all. Something's been eating the wires. Yeah, look at the, yeah, look at the spark. Look at that, look at the coal wire. Okay. Oh, oh, rock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? You Where crazy are you going? man. You ain't getting up there. Calm down. So it's got the lean burn system, which would adjust your air fuel ratio and spark. In theory, get better fuel mileage and stuff. I think these did not have catalytic converters for that reason. It would pass emissions without a catalytic converter. I think it only lasted for a few years there and they're kind of a nightmare to work on. We need to cut down that tree and get some room around this thing. Yeah, I need to open all four doors let that thing air out. Look how the springs work for the hood. Isn't oh, that cool? cool. Yeah. That's different. Good enough. Ross here to work on the rest. Hmm. Takes a while for all this to grow up around that, huh? Yeah. That was a big one in front of the door. Here you go, Rocky. Okay. He will not defile himself. He turned his head away from you. He will not defile himself he turned with his that. head away from you. All right, let's break the seal here. It smells a lot worse than most of the ones we've worked on lately. I'm always honest about how they smell, and this one smells really bad. A lot of them we've had weren't that bad. Cars like this, they have an ashtray for every corner. I went and playing around. Look, Wawa's got her face covered just opening the doors. <laughs> <laughs> is it that bad? No, this is probably second to the right turbo coupe. Yeah. She'll do 100, it says right here. Let's take the breather off and put a battery on this thing and see what happens. Okay. We've well, got one, mate. What are you doing? Jumanji. Oh, you look like Rambo or something, that knife on your hip. What do we have under here? That is huge. So I did some Googling and this thing is 4,900 pounds, just a little bit over 4,900, which is extremely heavy. Look oh. at the, oh, look a squirrel's been in there or something. How do they get in there? Is oh, that a rat? Does a rat take a nut in there? Cause well, a squirrel probably couldn't fit, could it? Yeah, it could. It's called fur. Probably goes in this little hole and right here. Right, what if he jumps out? That'd be oh, hilarious. Lord. That would be hilarious. Oh, no, we're not, no, we're not hilarious. hilarious. Oh, man. I hope the carburetor is freed up. Look at that. It's enormous. It's like a carter. Man, there are so many vacuum hoses on these late uh, 70s cars. Uh, uh, I'll say you might can just dump that down there. You are hooked up. You're hooked up. Not anymore. Exactly. Would it have to have some of them? It doesn't have to have them. Where are you going? I'm just going to have to do something. Lay it over here because it's got that lean burn computer in it. Oh, yeah. Plug ins for that lean burn deal. I'm surprised that thing lived on top of this hot engine like that. Ralphie, why don't you spray down our carburetor with that liquid wrench? AC killer. I'm getting all the needed stuff. Get loose. Man, the myth, Woo! the legend. Woo! Woo! That man is a delinquent. <laughs> He's also a danger to society. 
Three times we got the video. He just runs up and down the road. Probably ain't even got a license if I had to get. Funny, check his license. Yeah. You don't need a license no. here, do you? Yeah, go pull that out of there. We're gonna try to get it running right there. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably hear it if we do get it running. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be bam. Big 440. We got the goat cam on today, so we're gonna see what Rocky does. We gotta keep up with him. He's got plenty to eat around here. This will be a clean lot by the time we leave, probably with Rocky here. Depends on how long we're here. Exactly. Ooh, that's not starting out good. <laughs> it's completely stuck. That's unfortunate. That is not a good sign. Let Rafa spray what? that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's just super stuck. Gummed up. Let's spray it down the barrel there, Ralphie. Just give her a bunch. If something slithers across my foot, I'm going to panic. I'll rescue you. Don't worry. I'm not worried I'll about... I'll be in the truck and never touch the ground, probably. <laughs> I'm not worried about the snakes. I'm just worried about the bees. We have opposite fears. That's a good thing. We work good together. Look at me like that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if there's any brake fluid. I'm going to guess no. These are two very important steps. <sighs> it's stuck. <sighs> Oh! Hey, good sign. I actually have some brake fluid in it. And it doesn't look rusty. I don't know about that. It it's kind of brown. Kind of brown. The fluid oh, okay. Fluid. Yeah, you're talking about the, the in the floor. Yeah. Yeah, that could. Okay. Could well, maybe it has brakes. You could give the brake pedal a test, guys. I don't know if I want to get in there. Whoa, oh, don't be, don't be scared. Don't be scared. There's no chance that there's something in there. Rocky went through the car with his leash, and the leash is going that way now. Yeah, he's, he's a wild man. Give it a tap there, Walk. Oh, wow. This is the most beautiful. You're going to make me do it, aren't you? Get on that rich Corinthian leather. Oh, my yeah, go ahead. Golly. It moved, didn't it? Hardly. Is it coming back up? Yeah. Ooh, it's like a brick, isn't it? Yeah. It's it kind of went down and stayed down. She's a brick. In a house. house. Okay. Well, that's not good. Let's see what else is bad. It's really nice to see what the other side lives like, you know? I know. It's really nice, huh? Yeah. Maybe if we just keep spraying it, magic things will happen. I'm going to say, yeah, for sure. it's ginormous. Is that a thermo quad? I think that's what those carburetors are called. So it is moving, but like if you hit it, it would just stay there. Which, you know, that's the way my wife drives. It's called <laughs> cruise control. I'll get it and go. This is the RB series big block. You know, they made 383s, 400, 440s. Now, I believe this car was available with a 400 or a 360. So, this was the biggest engine that was available in it. It'll have the 727 torque flight, which is like a really stout transmission. These are set up kind of like a quadrajet is, where they have the small barrels in the front for fuel economy and the big barrels in the back for all the hog legs. There may be hope for it. He's trying to chase all the snakes down here your way. Oh, goody. We got the big boy battery today. I figured this 440 needed a big battery. It's always a little sketchy hooking the battery up for the first time, you know? Want somebody get in there in the driver's seat and see what happens when I turn it on. Wow. Rocky, I don't understand. If this is not going to help okay. it start. Huh. Ow. I'm stuck. Is he going to lick it? Is there going to be a lick? Ah, uh, he's eating the Look insulation. Rocky, no, 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 no. We do not eat insulation, Rocky. There's nothing there that's edible. Can we get back to work now? <laughs> You got your camera all crooked and everything. Are you gonna ride on the side by side? Is he gonna get nervous about it? He gets nervous sometimes, don't he? What? <laughs> Are you whining? There's a little sizzle to it. Sizzle. Any lights come on the dash wall? wall? Hazards? You got the hazards on? Are they, yeah. they lighting up, Ralphie? Time signal. Let me get in there and see. Yeah. It's not a good sign that the last time this car was moved, it had the hazards on. Hmm. Oh, that is definitely not good. It's got them old wow. school hazards up under the column. Remember, you got to pull the thing out. Well, the interior lights work. Like this interior light's on right here. Let me turn the key on and see what happens. Okay, we got an oil light and a door ajar light. The light on our uh, fuel gauge is working. I really don't want to turn it over yet. I'd rather see if it'll turn over by hand, just so we don't bust the starter off this thing or chew up the flex plate. I don't know what size this is. Uh, that's perfect. You got oil on it? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, a little black. Is it in the operating range? She fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's on the LL. This thing is an inch and five sixteenths. That's the biggest crank bolt I think I've ever had to turn. Can I get the ratchet in here? Big clutch fan's in our way. At least it's a clutch fan instead of a fixed bladed fan. That is a real pain. Golly, we may have to take this fan off, Ralphie. I can't get that in there, I don't think. Maybe we can pull that fan off. 
There's just one thing after the this other. That's how it works. You this find. Work. And then, oh, this doesn't work either. Oh, here's something else. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of how it is sometimes. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And this is the real stuff that happens when you leave cars just parked. Yeah. Yeah. What a goodness. He's scratching him head. Oh, a oh, yeah, it's getting out of the way now. These big fans sure do cool them down good, but, and they're in the way when you're trying to do something like this. I'm gonna laugh so hard through this snake up here. He acts like, baby, he? he acts like a baby, don't he? He acts like a baby every time. It's so funny. I'm scared. It's like the most thing I'm scared of is snakes. We can't even go into like a zoo or something without I'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't even like looking at them behind the glass. Stuck on the belt. That's what happens, isn't it? They get they get rusty crusted on there. And a lot of times that will stop it from being able to be turned over. So while well, our power steering pump's free, does it have That's any fluid? Good. Nope. No, I don't even no. see any down in there. No, there's not. I'm gonna go ahead and break loose the belt for the alternator as well. I don't want a stuck belt on a pulley be what's messing up. That is an enormous alternator. You're right, son. <laughs> I don't know. I like that it has two belts. That's a nice feature. Your Lincoln had two belts on everything, yeah. remember? That should be, be like the norm. Yeah, that way if one goes out. Hey, I've you been don't stranded even know. without a belt. Exactly. Belt broke. Yeah, you you've had it happen a time or two. It's stuck to the uh crank pulley. Hear that? I just noticed the front cross member is sitting on the ground. Oh, See yeah. that? She got low. We got all kinds of room now. Come on. Work with me. I see an inline fuel filter. Oh, it moved. Normally, we put Marvel Mystery Oil down the cylinders and let it sit for a while, but it's hot out here, you know? We ain't Waste got time. time. We ain't got time for all that. That's good. Yeah, it is. It probably is best practice to put oil in the cylinders first. Give her a soak. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully it hasn't got any water down in it or anything. The big thing that kills them is people take the carburetors off a lot of times. They'll pull the plugs out. And I pretty much don't buy cars anymore that somebody's pulled the plugs out of. We had a bad lesson well feel learned. That. Yeah, we're good. Well, that's a good sign. I don't feel scared now to hit the starter. I'm gonna put some power steering fluid down it. This was in the trunk of the Zephyr when we got it. Oh. We're still using it. Okay, overfilled it by a ton. That should be enough. Oh, my dad would kill me. <laughs> Probably be a good idea to see if it has any transmission fluid too. All these crossers are bad about getting burned up easily. It's low and it should be over full just sitting here because the pump's not running. So I'll put some fluid down that too. It'll probably need three quarts or so, Ralphie. Because if they're showing low, don't do it all at once. Look, it'll come out over the top of the dipstick. Did it? You dipstick. There you go. Look, he knows how to dip. Long pour. You knew it. Oh. You knew it was going to happen. The long pour. What is Squeezel doing? She's she off playing. Gonna, she'll be in that pond for she's this She's off over playing with. tiddlywinks in the woods somewhere. Whatever that is. No. Nope. We ain't got no fuel down of it yet, but I want to see how it spins over on the starter. Make sure all our electrical system works. Because we've seen a bunch of wires over there, especially, that have been chewed on. Uh, I think we got a battery connection issue. Yeah, give them a twist. Yeah. I think it's that one. You think so? Yeah. It, it should. Be. It'll probably arc wherever it's not connected. It's the red. It smoked. It smoked? This is the one. Third time's the charm. Not turning over fast. But no, she's over. slow. <laughs> that did not sound very fast, did it? <laughs> and that's our bigger battery. Okay, well, that's a good sign. Electrical system, at least the starting side of it, works. I wonder if it's getting any spark. It's got electronic ignition, so should be getting spark. Usually they still work. I went ahead and bought some plug wires for it. I have like a list of things I just buy for every one of these. I just get the plug wires, cap rotor, points if it has them, all the stuff you know you're going to need. Hey, it's got some long ones. Look at that. Yeah. Hey, girl. Wow. Usually they're not nearly this long. It's almost as long as you. <laughs> Look, it's Ralphie's hot. Well, there ain't no way this cool wire and stuff's going to work. Mm -mm. Wow. That. You, like, doesn't even have Look, a you can see the, the core in the middle of it. Isn't that crazy? Look, the whole boot stayed on there. <laughs> Look, there's all kinds of fuzz in here on top of the cap. Wow. Ralphie, you hit the switch, and I'll see if this shocks the life out of me or not. Uh, we're just not connecting like we used to. All right, go for it. Okay. Again? Third time to charm. Go for it. I, huh? see, I see smoke. Why is there smoke coming out of the carburetor? That's odd. 
Man, what is up? It's just them cables. All right, try it again. <laughs> ah, we got spark. That's, Ooh, good, that's news. good. That's great news. Yeah. All right, turn the key off, Ralphie. This beauty gonna start. I promise you. You reckon? Yeah. Everything's gonna start now. Hey, well I know. So. She's a jewel, ain't she? There goes the peanut gallery. <laughs> we do have new plugs for it as well. I don't know how bad these are. Really far down in there, the catches for this. The cab doesn't look too terrible, really. It's got electronic ignition, what looks to be dual pickups, so that's pretty cool. You can see the corrosion kind of built up on that one. It's been replaced before, it's standard. You wanna go? I go crane man. You wanna moke? You wanna moke, girl? Boy, I will lay you out so quick. You don't <laughs> even know what is happening. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88. I can snap these. We've got our new cap and rotor on now. <sighs> that one down there, gosh. Oh, there's a hole in the bracket, I guess. What is he whining about? There's nothing to whine about, Rocky. No wonder they're so long. They go down and way up under there. They go snake, they, oh, they uh, travel through <laughs> all these brackets under here. I'll probably give them a more direct route. Okay, I lay them on top. Yes. Oh, look at that. And that's down on the spark plug end. Something like that, it can shoot spark out of it up against the manifold. You have a misfire like crazy. They really chewed up the wiring under here too. It must be this one right here. You're a good spark plug wire holder. I don't say that to just anybody. I like to do it this way where you keep the old cap next to it and it gives you a reference to go off of. If you pull all these off and you don't know what the firing order is or you might get confused, I just like to do it this way. That way you don't mess it up as you're going. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plugs too. Swap them out. I already bought some anyway. Probably should have done this before I turned it over, but doing it now. Think we'll find any ticks when we get home? Oh uh, yeah, 100%. It's a little sooty and a lot of the gap is taken up by whatever kind of deposits are on that. I've seen worse. You have? Mm -hmm. What kind of deposits are on that spark plug there, Ralphie? Earl. Earl? <laughs> okay. Earl that made a deposit? Hmm. What's a deposit question mark? That's like the, with well, the buildup that's on the plug, the junk that's on it. I'm Gosh, thinking these are something hard to, get to do in. with rats. Oh, the rats got you in the cylinder. Well, wow. the last one did have spiders in the cylinder. That's true. What do you think about this jewel? Well, the interior is nice. And have you just, even looked at the interior? Yes, I have. And if you washed it, it would look a little better. I like the white, and but the this looks like crap. One out of ten, what do you think about it? Two. A two? Two out of ten. Ralphie loves it. What's, what's your number on it, Ralphie? Eight. An eight. It smells like those old men's that grandma would give you, like... Like a really strong scent. This is what it smells like, people. It's like if you go into like an abandoned house, you go into the basement. How many Moldy? abandoned house basements have you been in? <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> she never we ain't going to talk about that, okay? She never been no basement. No, I'm imagining if you take the smell of a basement and an abandoned house together, that's exactly what it would smell like. Okay. I think I added a little value right here. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. No, I That decreases it. If I had a good pair of that flip job. Ooh, these are long. Have you ever seen longer? Is this the longest? This might be the longest set of plug wires I've ever messed with. I guarantee it. I've had a few big block cars, but I don't think they had wires that went down and under and back around. So it's really long. Are you putting them down under, back around? No, I'm putting them over the top of the exhaust manifold. Awesome. That's great, Dad. Ooh, what was that? What? What was you? What's wrong? I can't do that, Dad. <laughs> I'm freaking out. I'm I like, wondered how long it was gonna take. <laughs> Shut up, mom. <laughs> what are you so scared of? There was a little wire that was cut in half and it felt kind of funny on my finger, right? Or I can't. I need help. <sighs> well, I can do it. I just thought no, you No, I, no, I, I need help. Must be this guy. Got it? Mm-hmm. Hey. Good thing we're changing them, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's letting her eat. You're done, son. Wait, Dad, do I need to put a new one in here? Yes. You did. Here's your new one. Get it started in there. Oh. <laughs> oh it wasn't no. even connected. Where's the other end of it? Wait, look, is this it? 
Set up. Okay, so this guy here, this is exactly why we had to change these. Oh no. Look at that. That wasn't a rent at all. I totally not just dropped that. Okay. Oh, she's on the ground. You ain't gonna find her that way. Wait, Dad. Reach down, you'll find it. Into the unknown. Ain't no way. Do we have a magnet or anything on like No, stick your hand. All that's down there is dirt. I don't think that, that that's the logic. What? You know, this thing's so low to the ground, I can't even like. I told you you gotta get through the engine compartment up here. Come on. It's just on the ground. Somebody put a ballast resistor in it, which is a very common thing that goes out. I noticed that looks new. Is there a flashlight? Well, I have got my side done. I've took over Wawa's side. Yeah, probably for the better. <laughs> <laughs> she dropped a new plug. We can't find it yet. We may have to air the casings up just to find out there. where it's at. There's a wasp. I want to do wasp here. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> what was it this time? A bug? It was a red wasp. That wasp is after me. Hey, our air compressor's free. Power steering pump's free. I tell you so, girl. She wants to run. Alternator's free. Water pump's free. Crank turns. We got spinach. I feel like I'm a bug magnet. Really? Oh, yeah. Check magnet. I always like. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> new flavor. <laughs> Say that again. Preferably smaller cars are my tastings, but I kind of like this one. It's slow. You have always liked little cars. When you was a little bitty girl, you liked the little bitty smart cars that just came out and you was all about them. It was just little bitty. Wawa moving the truck over here so we can air the casings up. What is this hand signal? You know what that hand signal is. We got another one. Okay, I'm Look at that. It looks like it's like cut with a knife almost, doesn't it? She rotted it off her. Oh, I just. Sometimes? See, she uh, rotted uh, off. Look down the wire here. Mmm, that's yeah. hungry. I Wait, that's what's it. inside of them? Ain't no way. Hey, How long that back was? Look at it. See, it was almost a tall cut. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, the distributor lays over and it goes all the way around the back. It's crazy, crazy. isn't it? Is it going to hold air? I see it moving. I see it. There we go. I don't know why. I love watching them air up like this when they've been sitting forever. She's in there deep. I hope nothing crimes out now. Look at all the bugs and stuff. It's been a minute. Oh, Rocky's coming over. Sigma Supreme TAs. You like them, Rocky? You got soft lips. Mama's right. This is just, what do you want? That? There you go. Yeah, check the pressure for me. Goodbye, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. All right, turn it off, Wawa. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little worried. There he goes in the car. I'm a little worried about this. Not the paperwork. Not the paperwork. Oh, I see it already coming up. I'm telling you, it's the girl. She is a jewel. I love them big car hubcaps, too. You think the brakes are going to be locked up? Absolutely. That's going to be whether or not this is a driver or not, which I think these have four-wheel disc brakes. So that's cool. She needs four-wheel disc brakes. Look at how far under the dirt it is. I saw this car here years ago when we first moved here. I thought it was like a big LTD because it's all grown up around. I couldn't really tell. And then I figured out that it was a New Yorker. Bro ham. That thing's zinging, isn't it? There's so many bugs coming out of the dirt. It's got two 3570s on it. That spider. There's a snake. Oh, shh, shut up. Listen, you pulled that rubber <laughs> snake trick on me once. I should have brought it. And Rocky was there for that one too. He saw what you did. Here. Are we going to get four out of four? We are. This girl, I'm telling you, she ready to roll. She want to go. You get this thing rolling, don't you slow her down. Just keep going. You just keep going. Don't you worry about nothing. You just hit the house. I mean, let her eat. We don't even run yet. She starts up, you just get in and go. I'll catch you on the flip side. I 
I see it back in there, Wawa. Did you find the spark plug? I see it. Yeah. We're still good. That's the last one. So we got all the plugs and wires changed, cap, rotor, all that. Put some gas in her. I was about to say the same thing. Without cleaning the car about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're risking it, girl. We're just gonna pour it right down in the bowl vent here, which goes right where it needs to, to the jets. Here we go, try it, Wawa. Ah, we keep having this trouble. <laughs> All the time. Try it again. That might be a new problem. That's not a battery connection, I don't think. We have 12 volts there. I was wondering if our battery is dead, but... Is it like the ground, the cable? I don't know. I mean, I hear the starter solenoid activating. My top guess would be the starter motor acting up. Just give her a little clink, clink, clink. Yeah, we may have to get underneath her and tap on it. Of course it does this now when we're like ready to fire it. Of course. It turned over before when we weren't even trying to start it. And now it's not going to do anything. This ought to fix it. First attempt? Ain't no I told you this girl wanted to run. I told you. Uh, hey, no, you no, think no, everyone no. of them is going to run, well, though? I know. Hey, she, this I, sound like she had a little something, something knocking. There was a little she... rattle to it. Just a little bit of rattle. I never looked at the dipstick myself. The wall wall said it was good. Oh, we're good. Well, okay. Okay, well, it died, which to me probably means the carburetor needs cleaned out, but we'll try it again. I'll just pour some gas down it. All right, try it again. It smoked quite a bit. I saw a bunch of smoke. I right, try it again, Wall. I don't do that to me again. Try, keep trying it. Give her a little love, Pat. Uh, again. Come on. Probably lucky that wasn't a big fireball in my face right there. Try it again, Wall. Oh, I can't like get to the jug fast enough here. Well, it's definitely not wanting to stay running on its own. I hear like a funny noise. Does anybody else hear the funny noise? Yep. Sounds like there's a few nuts in that in engine. There's a lot of nests up in there. Try to get a walk. Huh. It's starter. carburetor's not happy at all. It's making a weird noise though. Is it because all the vacuum lines are off? I mean, there's definitely some vacuum lines off because even before we took anything off, we've got a vacuum port here open. We've got a vacuum port there open, a vacuum port there. It would probably be good just to plug everything. Maybe that's what we're hearing. I don't know. It smells like a bunch of burning rat pee. Yeah, it does. For Can sure. You smell it? Did it blow that corn cob out of the tailpipe? <laughs> I didn't say if it did. Oh yeah. It blew it out. It's right there. Oh, what was that? Dirt Daughter's name? I guess. Something? She's still smoking a little bit. Man, first attempt too. She's ready to go. I'm telling you, she wants to go back. Oh. We're gonna have to pull this carburetor off and go through it, obviously. Okay. We're gonna have to clean it out completely. I kind of forgot that we didn't even have any belts hooked up on this thing. Probably a good thing it didn't run any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them back on. Are you in a food coma? You get to it? Yeah. Somebody has put an aftermarket fuel filter on this. The kind we normally put on these. I should have unhooked the fuel supply to the pump before I cranked it. I didn't think about it. We got a little excited, didn't we? We got, you know, mistakes were made. <laughs> fuel line is loose. Coming off the uh, pump here. 
What is Rocky doing? He's just making a mess of everything. Imagine that. No. It's been curved for a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I don't see a bunch of dirt in it. It's all brown, though. So we got a new line coming off the pump towards the carb. And I've got us a little cheap 5 sixteenths fuel filter in here. Yeah, I should have done that before. You big baby butt. You gonna lay down neat? He just like fell down. He's like, I'm done walking. Yeah, Michael scratches. Finish a couple of weeks. Swapped out the supply line for this hose right here. I'm priming the pump because that definitely seems to help them out to get started going. And we're gonna hook it up to our boat tank here. Fuel inlet line here for a carburetor is stripped out. The vice grips aren't even working to get it off there. Surely it's gonna. Surely. Man, that is just rounding off every time. What in the world? I may have to cut that line. I gave it the brake loose. <laughs> and it came right loose. We didn't get it on video. <laughs> it is a mess. It's completely rounded off from somebody else messing with it. He just wants to be near you, Daddy. You don't have to worry about him running off, do you? No. We got one vacuum hose back here. There's no telling what all runs off vacuum on this thing. Probably like your Lincoln was. Probably. Time for the old tailgate rebuild. This is my first time inside of a thermal quad. T factory tested carburetors. I think it's a reman at some point, looks like. Of course, as funky as these <laughs> lean burn ones are, I'm sure they probably had a lot of trouble out of them. We're probably gonna block off a bunch of the vacuum stuff that this thing had before. What is vacuum? You've told me this before. So vacuum is only present below the throttle blades, below the carb base. And it's basically the engine sucking air and you stopping it from getting air. Because if it got all the air it could get, it would just be wide open throttle all the time. So you have to limit the amount of airflow. It's 8-2141 made in the USA. Did I miss one? What Sounds about like this? Sounds like they always miss one. I don't think that affects anything there. May just be stuck down. That's what we thought last time. That is what we thought last time. Where's the hammer? Give me a hammer. Oh my goodness. You definitely suck. There's something. Down. Something I've missed, I guess. What in tornation? I think I just found it. Underneath this choke is two screws right here. How do you even get there? The choke is really kind of blocking me from even reaching them. Let's see if I got a screwdriver that'll fit. That little guy can get down in there. They shouldn't hide these things like that, you know? The center of this thing is all probably not plastic. It's probably comment below what it is. Bakelite or something like that. Polymer. Good news is all these screws are the same length, so that's pretty easy. Let's see it, Ralphie. Look at that. It's funny how it all comes apart when you actually take the bolts out. Oh, it's coming apart from the bottom because these screws hold everything together. Try not to rip anything I don't have to rip. It's too late for that gasket, it looks like. So I think I can get that rod off if I twist this around like that. There we go. Surprisingly, it ain't that bad. What are you basing this information off of? That's all I'd like to know. Well, I figured there'd be like some crazy. Well, we ain't like, even seen down the bottom of the bowl yet. Rat's nest. Hopefully, our kit I got is the correct one, considering where I bought it from. See that? Isn't that weird how it's like uh -huh. that? It's not terrible. Actually, surprisingly, how it's not awful. But it didn't want to run worth flip, did it? Mm-mm. It's a little bit nasty in there. Yeah, it don't take much to stop them up. Oh, no, that's not... Wrong thing from Ron Lotto. Mm. He, he jinxed it again. No base plate gasket. There's no top gasket. Now what? The last couple cars, they have really messed me up. Now we're dead in the water. Well, she started up. Yeah, at that's, least she started, didn't at you? Least. I mean, we can't get too bummed out. The thing did run. We have to order one from O'Reilly's, and we got to wait on it to get here and come back. It's about to get dark. Maybe we can get in the trunk. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Man, all it took was that bump, huh? I had big booty Judy on it. Oh, we're cracking the seal. That's surprising. Full size spare, bumper jack, no animals yet. I'm surprised there's nothing in here aside from this. Anything down there? 
He's a big trunk. It's a big trunk, big empty trunk. Well, Lacers, open. I wonder how many Lacers people. There's not a body in it. We need to oil it. Oh yeah, put some oil on that, Ralphie. Do this latch too. This is what we really needed to lubricate before. Always the long pour, the long shot. That's 1% better. Is it gonna shut? Okay, okay, this time, this time, this time, this time. Okay, Never again. All right, it doesn't close. What does that do? What? I wanna crank it over and see if the fuel pump works to know if we're gonna have to swap out the pump or not. Since we primed it and it's got a boat tank, it should pick up and pump it out of that fuel line up there. Not looking good, is it? Did it come into the filter? Yeah, it was going. It started going in the filter? I think. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit in there, in there. Yeah. Do it again, Wa. Do it in there. Oh, it's got a hole. Oh, in it. okay, okay. Our metal line is kinked. So we'll have to replace this metal line. So the pump is doing something at least. We had a good day. It was a good day. There's no complaints you here know? for me. Load up. What what goat is better <laughs> about doing these things? Get your tail in. Yeah, take it. Oh. No wonder he's so spoiled. How many casings will still be aired up in this thing when we get back? I don't know. That'd be nice if all four would hold air. That would be a record for us. He's just taking in the sights, isn't he? What a good travel go. It's his bedtime. It's time to lay up. Oh, Granny's waiting on him. Oh, <laughs> She's like, where is my man? What have you been doing? Huh? Did you miss us? He's like, he's like, just like a dog. Here's the old advertising I found. Now this body style was produced from 1976 to 1978 with this front end. It was basically carried over from the discontinued 75 Imperial. So they sold this car at a lower price at 6,600 versus the $9,000 Imperial they were copying. So this has four wheel disc brakes. It uses the slab sided styling from the Lincoln Continentals. They really didn't sell that great because of the 73 oil embargo. It was kind of a bad time to have a big heavy car like that, but it was the last pillarless four-door hardtop made in the u.s all right it's early the next morning me and ralphie's the only one up and at it we're gonna throw this thing in the ultrasonic cleaner we got them preheating over here how many turns is our idle mixture screws Three. that's two whoa hold on that's one half now two what that's half that's half a turn this is two oh. now it's two and a half there you go yeah it stops it four and a quarter gosh that's a lot huh she a big girl I guess it needs some fuel, didn't it? All right, you can back it on out of there. I really don't know that this is going to fit in that at all. We may have to just put the pieces in there, huh? Yeah. Let's see what this one's at. It's stuck. All right, let me see it. That's not good. I don't think I've ever had a mixture screw stuck in a carb. Ooh, man, that's going to snap if I mess with it. We're going to throw all our small pieces down in this. <laughs> I wonder what the point is that it like directs the airflow a certain direction. This is one of your metering rods. It fell off. Here's the other one right here. And that goes down inside your jets. And basically depending on the throttle position that affects uh, your air fuel ratio. Pull our jets out of here. She good. Well, we can get <laughs> almost half of it in there. Here's our little pin for our float. So it's got a single fuel inlet that splits out to your needle and seat, which controls how much fuel goes in there, just like your toilet float does. I like how it has dual floats and dual inlets. That's nice. Yeah, Exactly. That thing stands no chance, does it now? No. It's coming out of there. Oh man, that's really stuck. <laughs> oh, hey, it worked, look at that. I am, that's my impact. <laughs> Right there, there's the other metering rod. Look how corroded it is on the end. Ah, let's do its job. 
I got a new line for our line with a hole in it, and we got our carb kit, so let's get this thing rebuilt. Here is the very important step that Rolling Auto missed with their carb kit, is that right there. Now, we have all of our gaskets, allegedly. Ooh, we got two sets of them now. You can see where it was submerged there. It looks pretty clean. We're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way though. Do you think that loosened it up any guys? No. Mm. I'm just joking, yeah it did. Okay, we're gonna heat that up first. You think that loosen it up? Maybe. It's very hot. Oh, I'm worried about snapping it off. I see it moving a little. Yeah, but it's twisting is what it's doing. It's not actually coming out. Maybe we should heat it with a butane torch, get even hotter. Surely it's gonna come loose with heat. I mean, usually it'll always come loose with heat, you know? Yeah. I think it's actually turning now. Oh! He broke it. That is a bad deal. <laughs> that is a bad, it's not funny. It's not even a little bit funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well, I guess that's just gonna have to run however it's set, because we can't change it. Well, snap. Oh shit. Literally, well snap. Dad, can we see a big laugh? <laughs> <laughs> the inside looks better. Yeah. We need to take these out. These are secondary jets. I really thought that was gonna come out. <laughs> it was turning. Boy, changing the color of that. Man, that's making a big difference there. A rizzle. Still got some gasket material on this thing. You gotta blow through all your passages because a bunch of times we've blown through stuff with the carb cleaner. And then you end up doing it with this and you find a bunch of junk that didn't come out. That's better, huh? Yeah. That's when you the donkeys kick in right there. Mm -hmm. These are smaller to get better fuel mileage. And then when you want the donkeys, you got that. These things flow at least 800 CFM, so I'm no sorry, slouch. I, I can't take you seriously with that thing on your head. There's a bunch of different options on the base plate gasket, but this one seems to match up with ours the best. This guy should sit right there. Now we gotta get our jets back in there. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Lego stuck. Reinstall our one working aisle mixture screw here. I guess I'll put it back where it was on the setting. Put our main jets back in the bottom of this thing. This seems ahead of its time. You know, the body of the car being not metal, it just seems like that's kind of ahead of its time for when this car was produced. These are our new needle and seats here. So I guess we can get rid of these. Came with a new gasket, so I'm trying not to drop it on its way in here. Look at the float level difference. How much higher this one is than that one? Maybe five. Let's see what our float level is supposed to be. It's supposed to be an inch and a sixteenth, and we're at an inch and four sixteenths. And this one over here, golly, it's got to be an inch and ten sixteenths. So we got to do a little bendy bendy job here and get these things where they're supposed to be. So there's two rubber O rings that go way down here. Ours actually just fell out when we took it apart. If you don't put those back, it'll actually run super rich. And this connects to the bottom of your boosters here. Very important step not to miss right there. I gotta kinda hook that rod like we did when we took it off. Get in there, you little booger. Do I need to move a certain way? Let go, turn it now. Think we're good? There you go. You got sit right there. I really like it when they come with all the little clippy doodles that you need to do this. I like that it has no check balls. That's really nice, but it has a ton of different rods. I'm trying to make sure I have every one of them in the right place before I scroll this down. I figured out what this guy is, a little research. I knew these lean burn cars could adjust their air fuel ratio, and this is how they do it. Basically, depending on the amount of vacuum, this messes with the air bleed system, which your air bleeds affect your air fuel ratio, and it will lean and richen up the air fuel ratio. Now, sometimes people do make block off plates for these to take that function completely out, but we're just gonna leave ours on for now and see how it goes. This is our accelerator pump squirters. I'm gonna go ahead and sit them back down in here. 
I put the new gasket on there as well. We're gonna go ahead and put our metering rods back down in here. I don't need you helping with the carburetor, bud. You're not the best carburetor guy we got. They seem to be doing the things they're supposed to do. A lot of tiny screws right near the opening of this. That's kind of scary. One of them works its way out. It's a bad deal with this, Ralphie. Yeah. It's good to have like a really nice set of bits to do this because you got different size screws. You want like a really good screwdriver bit. I think we've got it together. We're just going to vacuum cap off just basically everything except for the brake booster. There, and there's one on the back side too. Yeah. I have no idea what some of these things are supposed to go to, but I'd rather not have them hooked up than have them hooked up and have a vacuum leak somewhere else we don't know about. Maybe we'll be all right. Awesome. I'm sure again. I'm all right. Sure. Thank you. So I'm doing our adjustment now on our metering rods. It says to hold this down, turn it till you start feeling it move up, which is right there, and then give it an additional turn and a half. We're supposed to be five sixteenths from here to the bottom of that pin. And I had to bend on this. The farther you bend it this way, the higher it goes. We were way off on that. I got it right where it needs to be now. This was at four and a quarter. And it recommends it to be a turn and a half. So I'm gonna assume somebody was messing with this thing and having trouble. So we're gonna go with a turn and a half like it recommends. So I guess we're gonna drive back to where the car is at and install this as soon as it quits raining. Oh, shucks. Yeah, golly gee willikers. Tartar sauce. We've been jibber splits, Tinkerbell. Is it gonna have four flats again? Ah, uh, no. that's a possibility. It finally stopped raining when we come back over here. This one's fine. This one's fine. That one's beautiful. That is incredible oh, news. I really hope this thing runs good now. It will. No this question. side's good. We're good, think. you think? Yeah. It'll be neat to see it come out of its well, track. Well, it's still finally. above the ground. Yeah. That's good news, yeah. The front bumper was just about on the ground. I think it's still holding. What about that? Cool. Girl, you got this. Let's hear it. Is it a jewel? Let's it's a it. jewel. She wants to run so bad. <laughs> Man, this was like the end of an era, really. I think they made the 440 for one more year after this. After that, they did make full frame cars later on. I mean, I know you got Crown Vicks and stuff, but they weren't putting big blocks in them. This was like the end of the American sedan luxury car with big blocks, you know. Peak I just of American. Yeah, peak of American styling, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad that it's not an option, you know, to yeah. buy one of these anymore. It's going to be blowing junk everywhere this time because we got our fan hooked up, our water pump and everything. We need to get it running long enough to where we can check the transmission fluid. Chrysler products are picky about running them low on fluid. Why don't somebody hit the gas and make sure it's working good now? I need to go ahead and fill the bowl up. It's working good. That's good. Can you get it off? <laughs> hey, rental guard, what? I don't think is it I... a pro guard or is it just... You push down, push down hard, down, then turn pushing, it left. Pushing is downings. Will it pull straight up now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, She's still got antifreeze in her son. Yeah, we're full. That's incredible. Good job. What a deal. It's not, don't even look muddy. Come on. And it's antifreeze. And she Who does that? Cap on. We're just going to break this off. I guess it's already. I guess that got kinked at some point of course somebody had already been working on that years ago maybe they kinked it maybe i kinked it i mean there's no reason to point fingers so i just got the shortest piece of 5 16 metal line at a rallies i could get i can't believe it doesn't have 3 8 fuel line yeah this big hog leg yeah like a hog leg like this you would have thought that this thing would have had 3 8 throughout maybe double 3 8 <laughs> i've decided to just go ahead and replace the line coming off the car because it's all stripped out here as well should be able to put this here and just run a rubber line all the way up. It'll be cool to see what this thing looks like after we clean it up. I can't wait to clean it up. I just hope it makes it home. That would be a positive. I hope it sits here and runs and idles now. And maybe we can get a little bit of brakes enough to get it home. I think we got everything hooked up. We got our boat tank on the roof. I took all this vacuum mess off of here. So maybe that'll help us with vacuum leaks. I think it's time to try it again. We bring the fire extinguisher? Hey. We did not bring a fire extinguisher, no. <laughs> there is a pond. There is a pond. We'll run it. We'll drive it into the pond if it catches fire. Oh, awesome. Lid flip. Engaged. <laughs> Somebody go crank this thing. Hey. She's smoking. Yeah. What is that noise? 
might be a vacuum leak. our noise, okay. She's a beaut. That sounds pretty smooth now, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounds a lot better. I don't want to get a bunch of junk down here. We got to cap that off. What about it? Well, we it's off now, so that's good. Yeah, the thing about it, it's only smoking out of like one tailpipe. Yeah, uh, it's probably got true dual exhaust. All right, shut it off. So, sitting there running good. That was where our noise was. Did somebody yeah. else take that off? No, you took it off. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe this will quiet it down, huh? That makes a lot of noise, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That thing needs a muffler on it. <laughs> hey, the fact that all four doors open and shut is incredible. Exactly. That's a score we, for we us. We usually don't have cars that all four doors open That is shut. a score. Are you going to scrape off a little eyeball spot? Yeah, or you can run your head out the window like Ace see. Ventura. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well... You don't need much. That's perfect. We're good now. You Get can you can see a little bit. This thing is the epitome of luxury in here. Oh my gosh! Wow. It's gonna be so cool to have it cleaned out. Will the starter work? <laughs> Let's see if she'll pull out her own tracks. This thing is like incredible of luxury. Hey, hey, hey! We got something now. What? Come on, it must be a little more fluid. This is super luxury. I'm like all the way down the seat, if I could say. Is it spinning? I think it breaks how you stuck. We're out of our tracks. <laughs> oh my god. Does it have any brakes? Oh. We got what? a little bit of brakes. We got some brakes. We got a little bit of brakes. Wow. Oh man. This thing may make it home after all. Luxury. Uh, we need to check our transmission fluid level. I think we're a little bit low on fluid. Oh, this right? thing's a jewel. Mom's right. Mom's right. The brakes hey. are kind of sticking, but let's check our fluid level. Low on fluid or something. Well, I knew it sucked down in the mud, too, yeah. kind of. It sounds terrible with that noise. Like, it's awesome to see. It's like, it's like we had a little bit of brakes. Awesome. Once you get this thing going, you just go, baby, go. Oh. Don't slow down. Literally, like, it's you go down All right, shut it off. We're low on fluid. After three quarts. She a big girl. Listen to that. That sounds like bacon. I'm hungry. What's <laughs> Sizzling all that. Oh. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Well, let's get some fluid in this transmission and see how that does. We got to get a dirt report over here, though. Was there anything living under it? Well, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Is that raccoon poo? I, I mean, Ralphie didn't sneak under there, did he? No. <laughs> got any tracks or anything? Man, look how deep it was in the dirt. I was almost to the floor with it and it wasn't moving. I had to get it rocking yeah. first. I don't see any parts or anything. Something was leaking here, which would be right at the rear main seal area. That is so cool. I can't believe it made it out of there. I knew it would. You knew it? She's like, she, she, she may make it home after all. First things first, we got to get our gas tank attached properly here. We don't want to have a gas tank flying off going down the road. That's a masterpiece. We did this with the uh, Rambler, remember? Oh, yeah, we did. We gravity fed it. All right, well, that's installed now. 
beautiful. I'm gonna try to see if we can change the oil in this thing because I don't want to hurt anything. I don't know what kind of condition this oil's in. Usually it's in terrible condition. I got me a new filter and some oil. I don't know if this jack can handle it. Look, look at it going down in the dirt. It's sinking as we speak. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work on the mud, huh? Gone, girl. <laughs> so funny. There's grass coming up through the jack. I don't have nothing for me to lay on or nothing to me. Well, it looks like the drain plug's on this side. Oh man, that's really stuck. You always want to tighten this stuff so tight. I mean, you don't want your drain plug falling out. They're falling out all over the place. You see it all the time. This is a 7 8 big boy plug. Let's see what we got in here now that we've loosened all that sludge up. A little black, like usual. We hardly ever change one that is like, looks clean, does it? Yeah, it's, they're always bad. They're usually black. Thankfully, I don't see any water. I don't see any milkiness. I don't see any big chunks. Just looks like they hadn't changed it in a long time. I think it's a Pro-Tech oil filter. I'll get it off here where you can see it in a minute. Oh man, it's stuck too. God, I can't do it. Even though this is really easy to get to, it's super tight. I got the old rubber band wrench on this one. Come on. Really? Is it that tight? That's incredible. Oh, it moved. Wow, that is tight. I think part of this too is they sit for a long time and the O-ring just like glues itself in place or something. Good thing I lift heavy, huh? Whatever. Well, it had oil in the filter. That's a good thing. We got a ProTech 104 on this. You can tell how long this thing's been sitting by how old the oil filter is. It's black looking, that's all. I don't see any metal coming out of there. That's good. Well, I really can't pre-fill this oil filter, unfortunately, because this one's on its side. So I guess we're going to have to install this one completely dry. But at least it's a Wix now, and it's new. This thing has barely been drove since they put them casings on it. They look brand new still. I bet that jack is relieved. That's over with. <laughs> We're gonna put our Rotella T4 in here. I run T6 in my daily driver vehicles, but I cheap out on these. Okay, well, maybe not come in quite as hot, but I like running this diesel oil. It has a lot of good additives in it that help out with flat tappet cams these older engines have. It's not the best thing you probably run. There's probably better products with more ZDDP in them, but they're expensive. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Ralphie land, he's over here eating Doritos. Use the finger cleaner. Use the cleaner. It's one of the best commercials ever filmed. Mm, sure. Okay, <laughs> she spilled it. That's my girl. You want to try to make it in the pond with those if you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's best for the environment. Keeps the uh, fishies lubricated. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> exactly. JK, don't do that. I'm gonna add some of our marble in there. I like using these on these engines that have been sitting for a long time in the first oil change. I don't know how many quarts of fluid this is gonna take. I'm gonna put two more in it. That'll be five I've put in it. It must have really leaked some out sitting here or it had problems beforehand, one of the two. What? What is that? That ain't good. What was it? It felt like it hit a hard spot as it was coming around. That's not good. Okay, I gotta be careful. So it's had to have got fluid in one of the cylinders. It kind of stopped hard, didn't it? Oh, I don't know. I wonder if it got a bunch of gas. If it flooded itself sitting here. That didn't sound good. I just thought we need to knock on a starter. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plugs out of this thing and try to spin it over that way because I definitely don't want a hydraulic rod or something. Unless it's got a blown head gasket. The only other thing I can think of is if the carburetor sat there and just flooded it with fuel while it was sitting here. Nah, I smell gas pretty strong. I do smell gas, yes. Maybe we just flooded it. Somewhere. I think we just flooded it, right? Yeah, we just flooded it. Nothing, oh, nothing okay. major. Yeah, for real. Like Where did y'all go to school for <laughs> Again. We weren't smelling gas before, and now we are. So yeah, now we're that's smelling obvious. gas. That's obvious. Yeah, I'm gas. Obvious giveaway. That is true. Wait, what ready? are you eating? Is it worms with slime? Oh, there it is. Hear it? Oh, I see it. It's gas. It's I pouring it out of the cylinder. Out. Yeah, it's pouring out of that back cylinder. How'd it get in there? The needle and seat must have been stuck or something. Yeah, it stinks. Huh? I'm gonna pull the other three over here just in case that wasn't the only problem. You can't compress a liquid. So if you try to compress a liquid, like if you have oil, water, gas, any type of liquid in the cylinder, you can bend a connecting rod. So it's not smart to try to continue to turn something over 
if you have uh, liquid in your cylinder. Well, that was the only cylinder I found fuel in. We're gonna span over and see what this does. <laughs> was there fluid coming out or just dirt? Oh, uh, it's not dirt. Boy. Junk going everywhere. Maybe we're good to go again. I gotta thank our needle and seat. One of them maybe hung up or something. Hi, yeah. this time, don't you slow down. I mean, I gotta you... check the fluid level first. No, just get her home. Yeah. She'd be fine. So if you got a plug that's kind of hard to get in there, that's a piece of 5 16 fuel line and you can use it as a swivel. And once you get it in there, you can spin the hose and screw it right in wow. from a distance. That's incredible. Thank you, son. Mind blown. Okay, that's the last one, guys. Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Hopefully no animals crawl out during this process. No. All right, we're in neutral. Let's try to drive. Oh yeah. Come on, girl. <laughs> this is crazy. This is great is what it I is. I this thing's actually like. Oh, I like hearing that trunk going. It's not us. That adds a lot to it. I'm worried about our brakes is all I'm worried about really now. It runs good. It would be super quiet if we just plugged that pipe. <laughs> we got a little bit of brakes. Oh man, the power steering is impeccable. When we get home, I'm gonna have to let y'all drive this. Oh yeah. There's ants like right by your head up there. Yeah, there's a, a little ant oh, colony in here wow. for sure. That's amazing. And it's the first time this thing has been on the road. What did we figure? How many years has it been? Since 04? Uh, yeah. 19, 19 years? Yeah. Hadn't been on the road? Here we go. Come on, girl. Get us home. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, there's flat spots. You feel it? <laughs> the neighbors jump up this. <laughs> this thing's got a hundred mile an hour speed on her. I bet it would sit there all day long. Actually? All the way to the dog races in Florida, I bet. Or the auto auction. <laughs> At least we don't have that far to drive here. <laughs> we have made it home. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Drive. That was a big drive, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I thought we'd well, never get home. Man, look at this thing. This driveway has not seen this kind of class before. Let's see how good our brakes work. Oh, impeccable braking. That makes sense. I even, that's when they all lock up. Do you think it'll do a burnout? Yes, try it. Mom's gonna have to drive this thing. That's all there is to it. Let's see, I'm gonna pull her down low. All right, we got it in burnout mode now. Oh no. Is it? No, no, it's too heavy. <laughs> 5,000 pounds. <laughs> Brakes are kind of, yeah, our brakes are sticking on us. All right, who wants to drive it? Me, 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 me. I'm All right, first. All right. now you always get first. Either mom or Wawa needs to drive this thing first. But you put it in neutral and just stops, I bet. Yeah, the brakes are kind of hanging up on you. It's kind of stumbling a little bit. What's that? You literally blew the rat's nest out of it. Did I? 
Honest to the Lord, there's a rat's nest Was right the there. trunk up the whole time? Absolutely. We need to rev it up and clean it out. Clean it out, you think? Man. <laughs> I think you need to drive it. I'll, I'll drive it. Get in there and drive it. All right. It's got brakes. Oh, uh, yeah. It's got brakes. No That's factory. Are you sure ant up? Man. <laughs> no, no. What? Just the ants? I'm not doing it. No ants for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Poor mama. She don't like this. Why did you tell me there's ants in there? You knew there was ants. We saw we ants. Don't like that. Okay. Well, mom's out. All right. Walla, you going to drive? I doubt it. It's just ants. They're, you're bigger than them. Yeah, until they bite you. Oh, she hitting the lick. Somebody needs to rev the guts out of her. Hey, no, so, it's a bow. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> that trunk staying open is hilarious. There you go. You're in race mode now. Oh, is it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> Get... How does she kill it and it ain't got a clutch? <laughs> yeah, nothing bad. Definitely nothing bad. Did it backfire and catch fire? No, we're good. We're good. I hear some shit. Well, I knew. Here, let's try, let's try to crank it again. I'm going to just keep this door open a little bit. Are you worried? You want an exit plan already? I'm, I'm wanting an exit plan. <laughs> Smoke coming out of the vents, that's probably okay. That's great. What a jewel, huh? It's so funny. <laughs> the brakes are definitely dragging, aren't they? You don't give it too much throttle. Clean the truck up. <laughs> I cannot wait to clean that up. <laughs> Will she cut a donut, you think? Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right, mom's gonna get on to us. All right. Dad told me to do that. You think so? Yes, for sure. She wanted to do that. Man. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Let's let your baby brother drive before our brakes lock up on us. You gotta have to see if you kick that big girl sideways. Your mom ain't gonna get in here, because there's... What are you showing the ant situation? Yeah, just show them. Just show them what I'm having to That's the ant situation in here. <laughs> All, right. All right, she's out. <laughs> you driving it? Yeah. What a chicken. You feel like he's driving a school bus? Oh yeah, for real. I had, I had, I had a few on me. You did? A few fell on me. Oh my gosh. Death, I hate ants, I hate bees. I can deal with rats, I can deal with snakes. There is a whole group. There's a whole ant village, isn't it? I don't know. Come on, you're fine. You'll be fine. Can't deal with no bees or I, no ants. I can't do bugs either. Just got bit right here by an ant. My lord. Right there. Sucker got me. Jesus, take the wheel. Ralphie's going to kick it sideways if he has to rub the guts plumb out of it to do it. <laughs> Just wait and see. You reach the pedals? There you go. Oh, he's done started. He done started. Oh, oh, our brakes. Look, look at this. Come on, the tailpipe. 
You're not even hitting the brakes, are you? Nope. Ooh, we got we got a caliper locking up. We better get it somewhere we want to keep it, huh? What's up? I'll fix it. <laughs> 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 Quit, you ain't fixing nothing. Oh man, look. It's completely stuck now. Lottery! Get it! Okay, okay, it okay. You got him stuck. <laughs> Alright, here, here, put it here, put it in park, shut her off. Clean it out! <laughs> Chicken. It ain't moving. Why? It's locked up. Ain't nothing locked up. The brakes are. The brakes are locked oh, up. Oh no. I thought I'd fix it, but I don't That's know. That's what happens when you drive one that's hadn't been driving a long time. The the hoses either swell up or the calipers mm -hmm. rust up and stick. Yeah. It won't move. It's just yeah. stuck there. If it's the hoses, it'll probably move after a while, but if it's the calipers, it, it may not move anymore until you do something with the calipers. Oh, what a wonderful I mean, piece of yard art. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this thing, I'm just going to hold it and say, over-delivered. Over-delivered. Oh, I, I mean, that 82%. I know, you were right on it, weren't you? <laughs> the whole dang colony. It's going to get bug bombed. It's just cooking all that yeah. rat mess under there. Clean up. Look at that rat mess that blowed out in the yard. That's crazy. Man, I, this thing is so cool. Oh. Luxury, right here. It's the top of the line luxury is all it is. Bro ham. The trunk will never shut again. As usual, I didn't expect it to do that. Like, to be able to... Oh, I got an ant on me, okay? Kill it, kill it. I did not expect it to make it oh. like that. Which, if it would have been any farther going home, the brakes were locked up. Luckily, it was right down the road local to us. We don't get a lot of opportunities like that. Stuff that's real close that we can go work on. So, it worked out nicely to, to get one going and drive it home you know yeah. we we never have really got to do that i've came to a conclusion what almost every car that hasn't ran has been a fairmont and almost <laughs> everything that hasn't been a fairmont has that in conclusion we should buy better <laughs> fairmonts that's all there is to it hmm. we just or need just, to start buying just, better fairmonts just, just well, guys we appreciate you taking this journey with us oh, kind of a first on our channel for driving one home we've done this in the past and never videoed it. We drove my Maverick home with a rod knocking. Mm -hmm. um, we drove that F100 home that was the donor vehicle for the Maverick and never videoed it. I wish we would have videoed stuff back then. Like the F100, if you remember, it was like a mess getting it home. We drove the Valari home with the boss flying we did. We out drove all the over. Home, and we never videoed that stuff. We just, we missed out on some opportunities years ago. This is our first one we've actually videoed, so. Hope you liked it. We had a fun time. If it wasn't for squeezing, we probably wouldn't have got this done. Pull one off your homies. Exactly. Well, has it changed since you saw it drive? No. Still two? Okay. It's Now it's a one out of 10. One? Okay, one out of 10. I give it no chance. Thank you. Thank you, Squeeze, for your constant support. We appreciate it. So drink your RC Colas, eat your bourbon barbecue vainness. It's the American thing to do. You will see a cleanup video on this car coming soon, hopefully. We can get it to move over in the driveway, close up to a water hose. We're going to clean it up and see what we got. Find out, is this car salvageable? Or is it a parts car? You know, is it a donor vehicle? We'll find out together, probably in the very next video. We really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you to everybody that watches our videos. Everything helps. Liking it, commenting, all that stuff. All that helps us, subscribing. If it wasn't for people like you, we would not be able to do this. The fact that I'm able to be here with my kids today, instead of being off at some job and they never see me during the day, that's a big deal to me. And I, it's because of people like you. I really appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you guys. It's really incredible the way our lives have kind of changed over the last year and a half. Never thought it would be possible. So thank you. You can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. You can buy our merch down below. Click on it. It'll take you there. You can buy it. It's good. Everybody loves it. Look at that. World's best Brad. He don't even know it exists yet. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get back on the RV. We need to pull the engine out of it. We also need to pull the engine out of the Durango and do the old switcheroo. Put our overdrive transmission down in there. I got some things I gotta figure out uh, what we're gonna do exactly, but you should see that coming up soon. We also gotta get back on the Galaxy Wagon. I gotta get some new hoops and casings on it. We gotta do the brakes on it, so you can expect that soon as well. We gotta do all the plumbing on the Fairmont Futura and get it running, so you can expect that sometime soon. And we wanna go on a trip, you know? Yeah, Take the RV real. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Let's go give Rocky and his wives and concubines the rest of these. And I know Vanya's looking for that sweet RC Cola.
Oh, Rocky Jr. will. He knows what's up. He's got it figured out. Look. Oh. <laughs> here, let's, let's get a little lady in the tramp action here. Now, them two. <laughs> Y'all are ridiculous. You know what's funny is Ro we didn't bottle feed Rocky Jr. and he still acts like we did. Yeah, you know? he's sweet. Look at that. She's taller than you. Oh, she's a beast. Look, she's not even standing straight up either. She's at an angle and she's taller than me. She's probably like six foot five. She may be the biggest goat on record. Like, I'm buddy. pretty sure she's the oldest goat on record. She definitely is. We, we wish and we knew her prettiest, age. The prettiest. Right yeah, she is the prettiest. Okay, that's good enough. Thank you. <laughs> now be easy, be easy. You don't want to drink it all at the same time. Oh, Woo! you get in your nose. Look, she's like, is that... She's going after their horn. There you I go. Don't think she bites it as much. Yeah, she's just better than she used to on bite. That's a good pig. <laughs> oh, her tummy sticks out. It's a good pig. Yeah. And stay out of the Woolworth. You want to milk, girl? Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye. Bye. I get a lime. <laughs>